In my opinion, when it comes to opera, there's no greater composer than Verdi. Um, Verdi was a master at writing for the voice. He expects you to be able to sing, you know, from pianissimo to quadruple forte and everything in between. It's one of the most tragic love stories that there, you know, that there is. You have Otello, who is a celebrated warrior, um, a general, a governor, um, beloved by his people, yet he's extremely naive when it comes to love. And there's Demona, who is just as pure as, as one could be and one could hope for in a, in, in a mate. But then you have Iago, who uses his cunningness to, to manipulate Otello and to use his naivete against him. To watch the progression of this story, where you start with this triumphant return from war, from a battle, to one of the most gorgeous love duets ever written. And then beginning in act two, you slowly start to see Iago begin to turn the, you know, turn the tide a bit and start to manipulate Otello. And from there, it's just a, a continual progression, downward progression to, until he's driven to doing the unthinkable. For me, it's almost an indescribable honor what it is for me to be making my debut with the Cleveland Orchestra, um, having trained and studied at Oberlin College, Oberlin Conservatory of Music, um, not too far from Cleveland. This is an absolute dream come true for me. Um, to be able to know that in just a couple short weeks I'll be standing on stage with this great orchestra, with this storied history, and that uh, you know, I'll become a part of that history.